New Porsche Panamera 4E Hybrid 2017 Review Porsche's new Panamera 4E Hybrid promises performance and economy but demands a compromise. Verdict 3 Star Porsche's second Panamera Hybrid improves significantly over the old car, with greater potential electric-only range, smarter drivetrain integration, stronger performance, and very desirable tax-dodging ability. It makes a lot of sense while still appealing to drivers, even if you have to accept some compromises for the breadth of ability it brings. Performance and economy, that's the promise with Porsche's new Panamera 4E Hybrid. The big luxury saloon blends a 2.9-liter twin-turbocharged V6 petrol engine with electric power to allow it to achieve its seemingly conflicting goals. The numbers that matter, for the Porsche buyer, are the outputs. That clever, 918 Spider technology borrowing hybrid powertrain pushes out a combined output of 456 bhp and 700 nm of torque. That's more than a Panamera 4's, and allows a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 4.6 seconds and a top speed of 172 miles per hour. That's the Porsche bit covered, then, the other numbers that matter relate to economy. The 4E Hybrid's official combined consumption is 112.9 mpg and its CO2 emissions are a tax efficient and conscience saving 56 g km. That'll mean free entry into London's congestion charge area, because it's comfortably under the 75 g km threshold. It'll please your accountant, too, the Panamera 4E Hybrid, about as sensible a luxury, high-performance saloon you could buy. That hybrid drive now allows an all-electric range of up to 31 miles, 50 kilometers, in perfect conditions, and it starts in e-power mode as default. The mode dial on the steering wheel allows you to toggle between the drive modes, from that EV only setting though Hybrid Auto, Sport, and Sport Plus, individual configurability also offered in the large center screen, while the mode switch retains the push to pass button that dials up maximum performance. The all-electric e-power mode isn't just limited to town speeds, because the 4E Hybrid is able to reach 86 miles per hour on battery power alone. Do that and you'll dent that 31 mile range considerably, although there's the chance to push power to back into the battery via the engine in e-charge mode to the detriment of economy, or to hold battery power for when you reach a low emissions zone, via e-hold. Hybrid Auto is the best compromise, combining the drive for the best mix of efficiency and performance, gliding on electric power in town, recuperating energy wherever possible via the brakes, and coasting when off the power at speed. Opt for the Sport and Sport Plus modes and even with the battery depleted it'll retain some energy within the battery to allow the electric drive to continue producing the 4E hybrid system output. The integration of the hybrid system is more effective than its predecessor, so electric power is now available instantaneously, the previous hybrid needed an 80% push of the accelerator before those batteries came into play. That's to the benefit of drivability, although there are some compromises for the 4E Hybrid's parsimonious side. There's a smaller boot, down by 90 liters, but it's the regenerative brakes that are the most obvious change. They create a brake pedal that's at odds with Porsche's usual fine feel and progression. You need to push through some initial deadness and the feel is far from natural, Slowing down is accompanied by some interesting whining as the system maximizes regeneration from the brakes. It's a necessary evil, perhaps, but the 918 Spider demonstrates that Porsche has the ability to provide a more natural feeling brake pedal than is apparent on the 4E Hybrid. The accelerator also lacks the progressive, linear feel of its conventionally powered Panamera relations, particularly when driving in E-Mode. The transmission, now an 8-speed PDK instead of the old car's torque converter automatic, shifts cleanly for the most part, though there's the odd knock as it juggles its drive and ratios in traffic. Forget about the 4E Hybrid's more sensible, environmentally conscious side, dial up Sport Plus and the exhaust timber raises to a far more menacing note to reflect the shift of focus towards performance. It works fairly convincingly, 
because the heightened response of that combined drivetrain brings plenty of pace. That PDK transmission is best enjoyed via the paddles, where it's quick and decisive to demands at the wheel. You could forget you're driving a hybrid, until, that is, you cruise into town and glide around on battery power. All things to everyone, or a sensible compromise. It's a bit of both. Certainly it's not as natural a car to drive as its conventionally powered relations, but the benefits it brings are arguably worth that. Indeed, that it feels different is perhaps something to be celebrated, even if it's not going to suit everyone. If you're city located, with a parking place and power, and want a car that'll do the weekend thrash as well as the drudgery of a city commute, the 4E Hybrid is a compelling purchase. Outside those tight parameters, you might find another Panamera to your liking, even if it's more burdensome on your tax bill. Key Specs Model, Porsche Panamera 4E Hybrid Price, 79,715 pounds Engine, 2.9 liter V6 by turbo plus electric motor Power, 456 bhp Torque, 700 nm Transmission, 8-speed PDK automatic, 4-wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.6 seconds Top speed, 172 miles per hour Economy, 112.9 mpg CO2, 56 g slash km On sale, now